Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, the second bonus video. And as you can tell by that title, we're tackling more troubles, namely troubles 11 through 20. So let's go ahead and get started. Ah, look at all those troubles we solved, aren't we good people? Okay, and let me just make sure I should have did this count beforehand. Okay, yes, we are in fact ending with who I thought. Alright, so, first things first, Lala, play with me, that does not sound, you know, PG. The piano parlor is now having this grand opening event, Wee! <laughs> Whoever takes this request gets something special from Lala, the cute kitty boo. We're waiting on Rogueport's west side, so please come quickly, smooch. Okay. That sounds oddly sexual. You know, a, a girl at a casino and kisses. All right, that, that's what I infer from the whole smooch thing on the envelope. Not envelope, but trouble. What am I even talking about? I don't know. It's it's almost midnight, okay? I'm, I'm kind of tired. All right, and so here we are. Piano parlor. Let's go in. All right, actually, is there a... Star piece in here? Eh, I don't care. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk to her. Oh, you took my trouble. That is so super! Well, okay, here's your special thing. Hee hee, don't tell anybody. Hey, what's the matter? You look disappointed. Well, fine, whatever. Enjoy the parlor. Play and win. You solved the trouble. Not really a trouble. I mean, all we did was talk to her and she gave us ten free tokens to use here. Yay! Alright, anyway, back to the Trouble Center. Well, okay, that one was rather easy, but they're just gonna get harder from here on out. Well, not really harder, just kind of, you know, pointless and monotonous and just other non-too-joyful synonyms. Anyway, Pine T. Jr., help my daddy! Oh, my dad's in the world of hurt down there. Please, you gotta help him. I'm waiting at the entrance to the Pit of 100 Trials beneath Rogueport. All right, so looks like we're doing a rescue mission in the pit of Hunter Trials. Oh boy. And here we are at the pit, and there's Pine T. Jr. You took on my trouble? Oh, thank the stars, this is just terrible. My dad went to the pit of 100 Trials and he never came out. He lost his job and said the only way to support us was the pit's treasure. Yeah, I doubt your dad, you know, was going to beat the pit by himself. I mean, he's only a toad, after all. I don't need treasure. I just want my dad back. Please help him. All right. So it looks like we're going to have to brave the pit of 100 trials to find Pine T's daddy, Pine T Sr. And in order to preserve the sanctity of the pit, I shall not collect the treasures that I encounter at, you know, the 10... Uh, the... Let me just restart this over. To protect the sanctity of the pit of 100 trials, I will not collect the treasures that can be found on the 10th floor of each. I'm not going to collect treasures is what I'm trying to say. Okay, screw this. Cutting ahead to when we find his dad. Okay, here we are, the floor with Pine T. Jr.'s daddy. And we have to defeat this guy. Man. These, these first few floors, they are just really annoying to get through. Oh, but seriously? Okay, but while I was gone, I also managed to get a pretty lucky partner badge. Yay! Not that I'll probably ever equip it. Eh, I might. If I start upgrading my BP. Oh boy. Okay, so let's go ahead, grab these. And what floor are we on? Level 18. Aww. Huh? What? Who are you? Wah! Wow, did you come here just to save me? Really? Pine T Jr.? I like how he calls his son Pine T Jr. And when he just say Jr. or Little Pine or something? I, I don't know. Wow, good, I have to get back alive. Show me the way out. Okay, well, you know, this, this pipe is kind of the return way, so we can't really go there, so... Just need to go even deeper. And here we are on floor 20. Hey, the exit! Okay, Pine T Jr., I'm on my way home. 
And as I said before, to preserve the sanctity of the Pit of 100 Trials, not only am I not showing any of the battles just yet, I'm also not going to be collecting any of the treasures. So yes, you will have to wait to see what lies in that treasure chest. But for now, we leave. Yeah, we look at the reunited father and son. My dad's back. Sorry for troubling you. I guess health and family really are the most important things. You know? I'll look for new work. I gotta be strong for my dear son. Thank you so, so much. I'll give you my treasure as a reward. It's really important to me, but nothing's more important than my dad, so here! We got a silver card! Parlor card that lets you play the paper mode game. Now if you'll excuse us, and really thank you so very much. Yay! The dad turned over a new leaf! I mean, it's not like he was gonna, you know, finish the pit. Seriously, the rest of that pit was going to murder him. But you'll see that when we get to it. For now, back to the Trouble Center! And so we have returned to the Trouble Center. Ah, man. Going through those first 20 floors of the pit took quite some time. Should have really did some of these beforehand. Anyway, Jolene has a trouble. Help wanted. I need some cleaning done. Motivated workers only. Please meet me in the glitz pit. Alright, we'll take on Jolene's trouble. Oh boy. More traveling. And so we have returned to the glitz pit. As I mentioned before, at, well, just in case I didn't mention it. Um, wait, no, I, I don't care. I don't care about that. No, n this is not a comeback. This is just for a trouble. But yeah, um, after chapter, was that three? Or four? Hmm. Chapter three, yeah, whatever chapter it was where we were here, uh, you can always come back and fight your way through the uh, Litz Pit again. It's kind of pointless, though. I mean, all you do is just get coins and experience, although nobody really gives you experience except for Rock Hawk. And yeah, all it, is, all it just nets you is just a room where you can sleep for free to heal yourself, and the championship belt in your inventory. Nothing major. Alright, anyway. Yes, yes, who is it? It's customary to knock before entering. Oh, why, Mr. Gray Gonzalez, it's been too long. How have you been? Uh, I don't go by the name anymore. I'm Mario now. I must tell you, we've seen a big drop-off in attendance since you returned the bell. I was a touch worried, or wait, no, this doesn't seem like the trouble talk. This is the you want to make a comeback talk. Oh boy. No, no, I'm not, I'm not here for a comeback. I just, no, 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 I don't, I don't want to do any of that. No, I, I, I just want to solve your trouble and get money. That, oh man. Yeah, they lost your registration, so you got to start back from the bottom. Start from the bottom, only one way to go. Just like Drake. No, no, not not like Drake. Not like Drake. Drake is horrible. That that was a horrible example to use for this. Alright, yeah, just blah blah blah. Okay, yeah, enough of that. Now, for your trouble. Okay, I need you to clear out the garbage in the storeroom. I can't get anywhere near it. I have a problem with garbage. I don't talk about it. Just put it somewhere I can't see it, alright? Yeah, will do. Alright, so here we are at the storeroom. Well, I'm sure it's not that much. Holy crap, that is a lot of garbage. Okay, well, we gotta... Hmm. Trunk some wrestler ward. The tatters, boy, they stink. Why are they just storing dirty wrestling trunks in here? That has to violate, like, so many health codes. Seriously, come on, Glitz Pit. This isn't Rogueport, this is a tourist trap. They should have, you know, some more standards. And yes, this actually does take up, like, special item, uh, you know, storage space. Yeah, Mario holds on to these. Woohoo. Okay, and last one. It always pains me that you can't jump over the awning. Alright, but we got all the... There's still more, isn't there? I still see flies. 
can never be too careful. Oh, no, they're just there permanently. Okay, I thought something was hidden. I don't remember this trouble all too well. Though I know it involves more traveling, so I probably blocked out the painful memories. Seriously, these troubles where you have to do nothing but travel, they are annoying. Okay. You have to take that stuff far away from here. I can't stand it. I know of a Goomba named Goomfrey in Roteport that buys stuff like that. I've already gotten in touch with him, so just get out. Uh, just get that trash out of here. Yeah, we need to go to Roadport, give these trunks to Goomfrey. Don't know what he would want with dirty wrestling trunks. And then we gotta return all the way back here to talk to Jolene to get our prize, a reward, rather. And then we go all the way back to Roadport for the next trouble. Yeah. Pointless! Alright, and here we are with Goofy the Goomba. Yeah, I spoke to Jolene. Now, who was it that she wanted taken care of? Not who? What, you say? Well, fine, let's get it done. So what are we doing here? Yes, all the battles. Oh, we gotta go through all these, okay? Yes, just tapping the A button all day, er day. Hmm. So, how about that weather? Still kind of rainy over here. You know, in Michigan. Oh, and I've been playing Rayman Legends. Really fun game. Seriously, like, really fun. Oh, well, we'll get to that later. Make sure you get the rest pay for this, man. Kind of skipped his first little text there, but whatever. It's not important. He, he's, he's just gonna, you know, toss these into the river, I guess. Thus polluting Roadport even more. Anyway, off we go. Back. Woohoo. Alright, and here we are, back at the Glitz Pit. Man, this game could have really used the teleport feature. That's just probably my only complaint with this game. And doing some of the things where you have to backtrack to places you've already visited. It's just the travel is just really slow. Like, really, when you got Vivian, that should have... Oh, yeah, he moves out the way if you want to go back to the minor leagues and fight your way back up. But, yeah, it's like... Around the time you got Vivian, that should have really, like, gave you a teleport feature. You know, the fact that the Shadow Sirens can go into the ground, move wherever they want. Like, that, that really would have been nice. But no, they have transport pipes that you need to go underground and then find and then go and then go back through more lands where enemies are just to get to a city you want to, but alright, whatever. You've cleared it all up. Well, here's your reward. You have my gratitude. Yay, all that for 30 freaking coins. I guess we won't be getting the smell out of that room anytime soon. And we solved the trouble. Yay, now all we... Uh, uh, off we go. Back to Roadport. Oh, goody. And so we have returned to Craigslist. Uh, I, I mean the Trouble Center. Alright, next trouble. Merle, heartful cake recipe. I want to make a heartful cake, but forgot the recipe. For Mario's sake. I have to keep my shop open, so... Can you find the recipe, I'm hoping? I first learned the recipe from Toast... Yes, over in Petalburg, you see. Please meet me in the Charmer's Hut beneath Roadport. Hurry, hut. Hmm. I don't remember if it's possible for us to visit Toast Tea first and then talk to Merle, because that can save some trouble. And travel. Eh, screw we'll talk to Merle first. Why not? Okay, and here we are at Merle. I really must know how to bake a yummy, tasty, artful cake. To Petalburg, you must go. Ask Toast Tea all she knows. Okay. So let's go ahead, go to Petalburg, talk to Toast Tea. Thankfully, it's not that far. Figuratively speaking. Okay, and here we are at Toast Tea's house. Yes, hello, I'm Toast Tea. Did you need something? What? You want to make a heartful cake? And who asked you to? Merle? Let's see, I know you need cake mix and rune powder. Tee hee hee, I wonder who Merle is making it for this time. Hmm, I don't know. Nor do I really care. I'm just here to solve the trouble and get money. And or any other type of prize they can give me. Alright, here we are, back at Merle's. So, did you find the recipe for heartful cake for little me? Ah, I remember now. That's right, of course. Wow. 
Oh no, what shall I do? I have no cake mix. Boo hoo. And I can't leave my shop here. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I hate to ask, but should you please buy me some cake mix? I'm. Uh, bleh, I destroyed the flow of that. I hate to ask, but could you please bring me some cake mix? I'm on my knees. <sighs> Great. So now I need to go to Piana Parlor because they're the only place that has cake mix, and then buy some and bring some back to her. Oh, wait a minute. Foresight. You have cake mix for me? Do you have it? Let me see. Yeah, here, take some cake mix. Thank you. You're the best. You passed my trouble test. Can I make a cake without cake mix, right? No doubt. Oh destroyed the flow of that as well. As you make a heartful cake, mix room powder well to make the cake mix properly bake. I'm going to make it tonight, and it'll be out of sight. Then I'll charm someone right. Thanks so much to you, dear. Here's your reward. Here! We got 30 coins. And we saw the trouble. Oh boy. Really underestimated how long this would take. Alright, anyway. Next trouble. Bub Olber. The food I want. I have a bad craving for a certain food item. Could you fetch it for me? Please meet me in Petalburg. Gonna take on Bobulber's trouble? Yes, why not? Do it and do it right. Oh boy. Oh joy. <laughs> Off to Petalburg we go! Okay, and here we are back in Petalburg, and here we are talking to Bobulber. Hello, good day to you. I am Bobulber. You came here after hearing of my request, correct? I am so happy. I would like to ask you to bring me a hot dog. Yes, a hot dog is what I desire. It is said to be spicy, but I never experienced spiciness in all my life. Some say they are sold in Glitzville. Please get one for me if you can. Oh, great. Off we go to Glitzville. Luckily, I already have a hot dog at hand. Oh, did you bring something for me? Yes, have a hot dog. Oh, this is a hot dog. I'm going to go right ahead and try it. Much smack, gulp, erp. Oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. So this is spicy. Well, this is... Uh, bleh. Well, this spiciness is quite interesting. It makes me crave more of it. I'm terribly sorry, but could you get me one more hot dog, please? I must have one. I would appreciate it. And if you could tell by the inventory screen that opened up, I already have another hot dog at the ready. Oh, I'm so happy to be able to eat another hot dog. I'm dreaming of this. I shall devour it immediately. Much slurp gulp er. Oh, oh, hot, hot, hot. Spicy. Spicy hotness. Now this. This is spicy, but you've never... You only experienced spicy once, so for you to say that this is spicy... Uh, Alright, whatever. Oh my, that was positively delicious. Good gracious, I'm sweating with pleasure. I'm rather surprised that it was spicy rather than just spicy. By the way, and I know this is rather rude, but I'd love to chase that with the sweet. Sweets are the spice of life. That's my new theory I've just now coined. Could you maybe cook some cake mix, please? I really want a piece of moose cake. And, yeah, I had a gag prepared for this, but the item, you know, the whole item screen popping up kind of ruined this, so, yeah, I already got a cake mix. All you gotta, I mean, well, not a cake mix, but moose cake. And all you gotta do is just take a cake mix to uh, Zesty, have her cook it, and you get a moose cake. And they heal 15 FP if you don't give them the bulb over. Oh, did you bring something for me? Oh, yes, we're putting just 15 FP! But we're feeding this one the bulb over. Oh, moose cake. I can't wait to eat it, so I won't. Munch, snark, yum, herb. Oh, sweet. Good gracious, I'm quite satisfied now, but I feel like I've been demanding. Yes, you have. Maybe I just wanted to be spoiled by others. Maybe I was so selfish because... Well, because it's such a peaceful place, I crave peace, love, and food. Don't we all? I'm sure that's it. Anyway, let me show you my gratitude. Hey, we got a dried bouquet. Woo. Totally worth it. Yeah. T totally worth the 20 coins and 6 piantas and verbal abuse from Zest T. Yeah, totally worth all of that. I've been growing these dried bouquets lately. If you want more, just bring me another hot dog. You'll always be welcome here. Thank you so much. We saw the trouble. Yeah, all right. Screw you, Bub Olber. All right, anyway. Back to Rogueport. Are we almost done? Yay, here we are back at the Trouble Center. And yay, here we are about to, you know, not jump at the board, but rather take on the next trouble. Oh, and it was one we already did. By question mark, question mark, question mark. The elusive badge. And yeah, that one we got way back when. Yeah. I don't remember the part, but I will have an annotation here, and all we had to do was go back to Hooktail's castle and find a hidden badge there. And then we returned it to Miss Miles, and she joined the party. Yay! Anyway, Mayor Dow- Oh, dear God, not this one. Oh, my God, not this one. All right, anyway, Mayor Dower newsletter. Would you please deliver the Silver Club newsletter routing slip for me? Please come pick it up at my house in Twilight Town. Yes, let's take on Mayor Dower's trouble. 
why do I, you know, fear this one? Well, it's because it has a lot of traveling in it. A lot of traveling. Okay, here we are at Mayor Dower's house. Mario accepted my trouble request. My, my, now that's something. I hope you deliver this Silver Club newsletter routing slip to the Great Tree Elder. I used to bring it myself, but this hip is really growling at me. Would you take it for me? Yeah, it's not like we have a choice. Alright, anyway, off we go to the Great Tree. Oh, joy. Okay, so here we are, back at the Great Tree, and talking to the Elder Puny. Well, hello there, marty -o. Are you here to listen to me pontificate for a spell? No, I'm here to give you this routing slip. Well, this is a Silver Club Newsletter routing slip. You came here to give me this? Twilight Town's Mayor sent you? My last youth fountain bath there was nice, I recall. Well, this slip now needs to go to the Petalburg Mayor, but my hernia is acting up. Say now, could you take this to the Mayor of Petalburg for me? I'm counting on yeah, alright, woo, off to Petalburg we go. Oh boy. Okay, so back here at the mayor of Petalburg's house. Murphy, what can I do for you, young man? Here, take this routing slip. And the Silver Club approval slip? Is that from the puny elder? That old so-and-so. That reminds me that super blood pressure gauge I borrowed from her was great. Since I'm the last one to sign it, it just needs to go back to the Twilight Town's mayor. Hack, hack, cack, patooey. But I seem to have caught a bit of a cold. Could you take it to the Twilight Town Mayor? Thanks, Murphy. Well, I guess this doesn't really have that much backtracking considering the, you know, little shortcut pipes to the Great Tree and Petalburg are right next to each other. I guess bad memories of from when I, you know, had to do this on foot without the shortcut pipes kind of, uh, clouded my memories. Wait. That was horrible grammar. Uh, okay. No, memories of doing this on foot without the shortcut pipes clouded my judgment of this uh, trouble. Yeah, let's go with that. That sounds somewhat correct. Anyway, enough rambling. Off we go, back to Twilight Town. Okay, Mayor Dower, here. Yes, take it. Mayor Petalburg has a cold, well, tarnations, and diddly dang it. Are you related to Flanders? Oh, but you brought this back with you. Why, thanks. You sure are a lifesaver. Oh, and before I forget, here's your reward, Mario. Please take it. Yeah, we got 30 coins. We Silver Clubbers have been going strong for 20 years. What our slogan, age? What? We discuss longevity secrets and the like, you know. Maybe you'll join us in 20 years. Ha! So I guess they're the Roport slash Mushroom Kingdom equivalent of the AARP. Good to know. You know, I really wish you could take on multiple troubles at the same time. This would have been over and done with if we could do that. Anyway, Zesty, Seeking Legendary Book. I want you to go find the Legendary Cookbook for me. It's in a pretty scary place, so there's no way an old gal like me could get it alone. Please come to my house in Roqueport Square for details. Yeah, we'll take on Zesty's trouble. And thankfully, we won't really have to do much for this, because she seeks the Legendary Cookbook that was hidden away in Creepy Steeple. And I just happened to, you know, like, make that the first thing I did the moment I got there. Kind of nonchalantly. But why do I always keep going for the item shop? But, yeah. You know, we already did that. It's over and done with. So there will be an annotation somewhere for you to click and, you know, watch me get it in case you forgot where it was and how to get it. Even though it's just in the treasure chest with no enemies really guarding it. All right, anyway. Hey, you took on my trouble? Well, it's really important, so listen up, Mr. Klutz. Ages ago, there was this great legendary chef named Maitre Delish. I see what they did there. Rumor has it you instantly become a better chef by reading his book. Unfortunately, it's an old book that's hard to find. Stories don't carry it. But I've recently heard that someone who used to live in Creepy Steeple had a copy. There are many secret rooms in Creepy Steeple, so it's moldering there somewhere. I just have to get my hands on that book and read it. Help me out, Stumblebum. So, then... Want me to cook something for you? No. But I mean, I don't know of anybody who would, like, not get the cookbook their first time through Creepy Steeple. I mean, it's not like the room's that hidden. I mean, you have to roll up into a paper tube to get there, but that level has you doing that in multiple places, so it's kind of weird. Alright, whatever. That's it. That's the book by Mitchell Delish. Give it here quick. 
Ha! I I see. Aha! Really do. Yep, she's cooking. Since I don't think I ever showed this off in the LP, this is Zesty cooking. Isn't it just mesmerizing? I've got it now. Just glaze a mushroom with honey syrup for a yummy honey shroom. Brilliant! Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients. This will be really useful. Now, that's some book. Talk about effective. Thanks, Mr. Staggers. Take this as a reward. You got a honey shroom. Replenish is 5 HP and 5 FP. Now I can use recipes that require two ingredients, so just ask me any time. I'm really going to put my soul to it and cook with a vengeance from this day on. Yet she will still insult us every time we see her. We apologize for breaking our contact lens. Why well, she gotta keep bringing up old stuff? Huh, I don't know, that's just the way old people are, I guess. She is 55, after all. Alright, anyway, back here at the Trouble Center. How many more left? Alright, we got two more. Oh, freaking lord. Both of these. <sighs> Fine. I want you to meet and speak to someone for me. I'll tell you all about it at my house in Twilight Town. I just hate going to Twilight Town. That, that That's my only thing with that. I don't know why, just traveling to Twilight Town annoys me. Okay, and here we are back in Twilight Town to talk to Eve to take on her trouble. Took me about three tries to make that little flutter jump with Yoshi. I, I don't know why that always gives me trouble. That's one of the main reasons why I don't like traveling to Twilight Town. Omar, you accepted my trouble request. Well, it's hard to talk about it in front of the children. Can we step outside? Okay. And what, what do you care about, you know, not trying to, you know, warp your children's minds? They were about to eat you when you were a pig. But Whatever. I need you to help... Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, I was reading that correctly. I need you to help me to meet someone. His name is Potley, my former love. We had the same dream, to be stars on the musical stage. We shared our dreams, and we shared a wonderful love for a time. In that cramped little apartment, we huddled together, poor but happy. But when I finally got a part in a broad-shroom play as the leading lady, Potley left me. He left a quickly scrawled note that said only this. My dear, I would only dim your bright future. Farewell. Oh, Potley, Why? My dream was always to be with you, not to be a star that shines alone. I wanted only to shine with him. Success was nothing without him. I left the production while it was in rehearsal. I forgot about Polly and my dreams. I got married and lived the life of a housewife, happy in its quiet comforts. And now, I'm surrounded by beautiful children. My happiness is so complete now I had forgotten about those days. But then I heard a rumor that Polly was running a Chocola shop in Rogueport. Could you please tell him that I would like to see him again? Tell him that pure-hearted Eve has not forgotten her first love. <laughs> yes, pure-hearted Eve was my stage name. Please meet with Polly and ask how he feels about me. Please, Mario. But you're a housewife. Then again, you don't say what happened to your husband, so I don't know if this is infidelity or not. Hmm. Oh, let's go talk to Potley. Okay, so here we are to talk to Potley, our friendly neighborhood bartender. Welcome to Potley's place in their section of human lives and drama, if you will. What's that you say? Hmm? What is it Mario? Tell me, you look so serious. What? Eve? Oh, come on, stop with the ellipses. I know no such person. But perhaps you could tell this Eve person something. Tell her, live in the moment. And is that all you needed? Because I'm a little busy. So, yep, that's all we need to do. Just tell her to live in the moment. What? What was that he was saying? In the corner of my peripheral vision? Hmm. Alright, anyway, off we go back to Twilight Town. Alright, here we are to talk to Eve, the fat housewife of Twilight Town. Have you met with Polly? Really? What did he say? Tell the truth, or make something up quick? Well, since I'm a heartless bastard, let's make something up. Quick! Oh, Polly, I knew our love could never die. Thank you, but no more. I'm a different person now. Yes, a devoted mother. Just knowing he feels the same is enough for me to know joy for all of my days. 
Thank you so much, Mario. You've breathed new life into this old girl's heart. And her children are still starving. Oh, we're having a feast tonight, kids. I have special dinners from Zesty's shop. Mario, you have one, too. Meet your mail. Food that refills 7 HP and gradually recovers even more. Thank you so much, Mario. You breathe new life into this old girl's heart. Did I say meteor mail? I meant meteor meal. And, um... Hmm. I thought lying would hurt her feelings, but no, apparently telling the, the truth would hurt her feelings. Yes, telling her that Podly no longer has feelings for her. I guess. That, well, that's the facade he's putting up, but he kind of still does, as we saw in the sort of uh, little side bubble text that I kind of walked away from when I was trying to leave the bar. So, yeah, in a way, we kind of were telling the truth. This is the wrong pipe. Okay, and the final trouble for today. Goom Goom, looking for a gal. I'm pretty happy living out here on Kill Hall Key, but there's one thing I miss. I need a girlfriend. Please come listen to my request. I'm in the storeroom deep in the cave on Kill Hall Key. All right, we'll take on Goom Goom's trouble in a cave in Kill Hall Key. Mario is promoting prostitution. I mean, he, he's bringing a girl to a guy in a remote location. You know, and the guy wants a girlfriend. Sounds like prostitution to me. Either that or possible rape. Why am I delving into these subjects in a Mario game? I don't know. Okay, here we are in the storeroom of the Pirate's Grotto. Oh my god. Okay, and he's looking for a girlfriend, so eh, why not, Miss Mouse? Hey, thanks for taking all my trouble all the way out here, too. I know it's far. I came out here to enjoy island life, but now that I'm here, I just feel lonely. There is no one to date. I mean, no one. I'm chatting up sea turtles here. So all I need you to do is introduce me to a nice girl. That's it, a girl, okay? I guess my type would be petite, younger than me, and pretty, not drop-dead hot. Yeah, a cute little Goomba gal would be just perfect. Please help me, please. All right, anyway, we got Miss Mouse for you. It's going, did you have to find a good girl for her? Whoa, well, well, this is a cutie. Oh yes, but you're some sort of rat. Close, but no Goomba. This is all so very wrong. Remember what I told you? Introduce me to a cute Goomba gal now. Come on, I'm dying over here. Hmm, I'd say I'd dark Alex for a little while if I were you. Uh-oh, somebody's gonna get robbed. All right, fine. Maybe he wants the more explosive type. Yeah, but Bobbery is in fact a male. Oh, how very, um, what's wrong with you, huh? This is some crusty old dude. Do I look like I date old bob -Ops? This is all wrong. Remember I told you? Introduce me to a cute Goomba gal. Now, come on, I'm dying over here. Oh, you're hardly my type either, you young scallywag. <laughs> all right. Well, Bobbery knows what he's likes. Let's try Vivian. Whoa, you sure are cute, but, um, that whole golf shadow thing is a bit creepy. There, I said it. This is also very wrong. Remember what I told you? All right, yes. You're not really doing much to impress me either, bud. Oh, snap. Vivian, getting some little attitude there. Let's try Yoshi. Or maybe he's too young for you. Whoa, hey, you're petite just like I asked, but you're a Yoshi. This is all totally wrong. Remember what I told you? Hey, take a long walk off a short pier, you dork. Who date you anyway? I know, right? All right, uh, let's try Flurry. Maybe he likes, you know, big assets. Whoa, now that is a very glamorous woman indeed, but you're kind of old. And you're not even a Goomba. This is all wrong. Mm, okay. Well, I never. How rude. Go get your eyes checked, young man. I am a prize. Eh, okay. Well, maybe Koops is ready to get out of his relationship with Koopy Koo and, you know, date a male Goomba. Whoa, that is one attractive shell, but that makes you a Koopa of some kind. Not only that, but you're a dude. It's all wrong. Okay. Wow, I am not feeling attractive right now. Don't worry, Koops. You're still attractive to me. And Koopy Koo. All right, let's try Goombella then. Whoa. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. She's cute. Really cute. And that ponytail. Man. Perfect. Slam dunk, man. Yeah. Sa lam da unk. This may be a bit. bit uh, this may be a bit soon. But I have to confess my love for this girl. Well, that escalated quickly. Er, uh, hi. You believe in love at first sight, Angel? Because you know I do, and... 
What are you trying to say? Just spit it out. I love you. I think I've loved you since before I was born. Please go out with me. Um, oh, jeepers. This is awkward. I, um, I'm going out with Mario. Honest, I'm sorry. You're really cute, though. What? You have a boyfriend? Man, I've had enough of this. Peace! Yikes, I feel like I did something totally brutal. Well, Mario, why don't you take this as reward for dealing with that guy? Hey, we got a couple's cake. Now let's get moving. You solve the trouble. Yeah. And that's all we get for that. A couple's cake. For going into the heart of Pirate's Grotto. For something that, you know, slowly refills HP. You can't eat it alone. You and your partner eat it. Yeah. So we just strang him along in order to uh, get some food. We are good people! Alright, anyway, it's gonna be it for me for now. I'm just gonna check to see if I got everything that was in this room. Yeah. But until then, see you next time for more of, you know, Paper Mario, the bonus parts. I am really tired right now. I need to go to sleep. Bye. Oh, no, I didn't get everything in this room. We got a star piece. Yay! But I didn't see anything else over there, plus the fact that I forgot to flutter. I really have no clue where that last shine sprite is. Alright, but for reals this time. Goodbye.